Real quick guys, before we carry on with this video, just want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the guys over at Banks Power. They are one of the biggest supporters of the channel, helping us bring these videos to you guys, helping us do tons of stuff behind the scenes. So go show them some love. They just dropped another new YouTube video on the Banks Built series, their Duramax powered Chevy project. It is turning out truly awesome, truly jealous of that project. Make sure you guys go follow their Instagram, go follow them down below. Also real quick before we start the video, now is a great time to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe if you have not already, and leave some comments down below on what your favorite truck in this video may be. Just leave some comments down below, it really helps the channel, and let's get the video going. Friends, welcome back to day two of the semi-casual uh, Peterbilt show. There have been some more trucks that have rolled in, uh, so we're gonna go check those out, and we're gonna save the best for last. Probably the nicest, craziest, cleanest build truck that uh, pretty much wins everywhere it goes. This is what I've heard. Uh, but we're gonna check out some more trucks here, walk around, uh, show you guys everything, and also one of the, uh, from what I've seen from yesterday. Yesterday, one of the nicest interiors as well. So we're gonna check out all that. We've circled back around to this truck, which is actually parked right in front of us. I believe, obviously it is a 379. I'm not sure exactly what year this truck is, but he just opened up the doors and my goodness, if we were looking for some interior uh, ideas, take a look. He's got the wood floor and all of these panels have been done in this uh in this nice really nice brown diamond stitching he's got the seats done everything matches he's got the door panels done he's even got the tank covers done the same way take a look at the back doors everything down to the uh the window cover check that out super Super, super clean. I think the even uh, even the heater controls, everything is done in this truck. I just really like this interior. I really love these uh, these lights right here. That those have got to be one of my favorite things. The watermelon lights that uh, match everything else. Got a nice dash. This is a very, very, very nice interior for sure. Check out the passenger seat. Ah, he's got his name embroidered in there, that's awesome. These seats are really, really, really cool. Got the low pro bases, which make you, make you get real, real low. This is a super, super, super clean interior. Love it.
guys, fast forward just a little bit of time. As you can see, we are finally home. Got home super late. Uh, well, I guess it would be Sunday morning. We didn't leave out of there till uh, 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night. Super, super amazing, awesome show. We actually left the Peterbilt down there because I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna drive that thing through the, uh, through the night. We'll come back down and pick it up. We've got other plans to go back down there. So I was like, you know what? We'll leave the Pete down there. So the Peterbilt's still down there, but amazing, awesome show. Uh, tons of people around, the music was blasting, uh, kind of the reason why we didn't get a chance to kind of do a lot of talking about the trucks there in the moment. So my favorite truck of the entire show all together, uh, very, very close, between three. Let's, uh, let's, let's call it between three. So you've got the semi-casual show, uh, the truck that they built, uh, that black and lime green one. Uh, when the lights went out and the light show came on, uh, the lights underneath the engine in that thing just set that thing off. Just that truck is really, really awesome. I love the light blue truck um, that pretty much wins all of the shows that was the probably the nicest truck there as far as detail wise that is a full-blown custom show truck like no bolts anywhere everything shaved uh, just truly uh, a very 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 detail orient orientated truck the truck right next to it was the dark blue one um, with the uh, kind of peanut butter tan interior. That truck was honestly my favorite. Uh, really because it kind of had the perfect blend of super, super detailed, very, very nice, but I, I didn't feel like if I sneezed in it that it was going to destroy the truck. Um, the other one, definitely a little bit more of the show. The seats uh, were really, really uh, loud and like every, just truly like custom. I appreciate everything about it. I really, I don't know, something about the dark blue one that was just still kind of had all of the, uh, like the work feel, but really, really fancy at the same time. I liked the color combination a little bit better. That light blue and lime green, just a just a little just a little loud for me but uh, anyway guys uh, tons of ideas on where to take the Peterbilt what to do to it I mean we haven't even we haven't even scratched the surface on what what you can even do with those things I think that what truly is is cool to me to kind of see that stuff is um, the amount of detail that gets put into uh, a pickup truck I feel like it, it, it could be close, but I think you could do almost more detail stuff with a big, I mean, probably it's the same. You could do the same detail, but just, I didn't think going into the big truck stuff, it's like, all right, cool. Like you change this, you change that. I mean, you've, you've got a lot of work you can do, but man, the work that these guys have done with the suicide style doors, no door handles. I mean, uh, it's just something that I'm, I'm new and in getting into. I mean, I guess if you think about the show truck scene, the truly, truly, really, really custom show trucks, not even diesel, it could be, it could be the small mini trucks, it could be all of that stuff. I mean, those guys, it is, I mean, it's the same thing. To, I'm just rambling at this point, but it is truly a every single nut and bolt. You have to think about the way every single little thing is going to get laid out, how it's going to look finished. Um, you basically probably have to build the truck probably one to two times and then take it all back apart and then paint everything, powder coat everything tons and tons of time but we had an amazing time the semi-casual truck show two thumbs up totally awesome experience going there would not have traded it uh, to go anywhere else it was really really awesome experience we met a lot of people in the industry as well that will help us do uh, all these cool things that we want to end up doing so uh, overall just an amazing amazing experience and cannot wait to do more to do more Peter Peter built work honestly I, I, it's just, it's, I love the pickup trucks. Love the pickup trucks. We'll never stop doing what we're doing, uh, but I love the big truck stuff. The big truck stuff is just, uh, it's crazy. Last but not least, guys, just very, very proud of our little project that we have kind of started on here um, and where it's kind of started, where it's at now. It really just feels like just the beginning. First ever, first ever truck show with it and many more to come, but uh, 
plenty more work to done, but also just very, you know, I think it's really, really cool. The uh, the big truck scene, a lot of guys will do the work themselves. A lot of guys will drop off their completely custom show trucks. Uh, one of the things that I'm always uh, very, very proud of that we do is we are, we are doing everything pretty much ourselves, touching everything, doing everything with the help of others, but uh, ultimately doing it, doing all of the work ourselves. So uh, very, very proud of that. Very proud of uh, kind of where it's at now and, and even more pumped to, to see where it's gonna go. So anyway, boys, that is pretty much gonna wrap up this video. More racing coming this week, uh, more action coming this week. Uh, just uh, lots of lots of cool stuff on the horizon. So make sure you guys are hitting the thumbs up button, leaving those comments down below and subscribing, and I will see you guys in the next video. See ya, bye.